Hi there everybody and uh, welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, Chrysler PT Cruiser. This is a 2002 and um, I need to change this uh, engine mount here called something like a, a dog bone or something because it's supposed to look like a, a dog bone doesn't look anything like a dog bone to me but it just looks like an engine mount nevertheless apparently goes by that name and um, so if you search it online if you type that then you'll actually get some uh, some of this um, and this one is this one here here and uh, I just bought that out of um, from eBay and now the reason I'm changing it is because it's broken it may be a little bit difficult to see but in there the mount is completely separated itself so the engine um, has movement and maybe it's got a bit of rattle as well. I don't know if uh, it, the metal may be rattling a little bit. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be changing. So in order to change these, um, I remove the, the front wheel, give me some space. And also this cover, I already loosened it. There's just a little clip here that goes into this hole. Then there is a 10 mil screw or a bolt holding it there and then you're gonna find another three 10 mil bolts holding it there's one hole there there's another hole over there and there will be one more just sitting there so you have those three 10 mils plus this one is four 10 mils and the clip and this should come out and that will give you better room to the area here. But also, actually, in order to get this out, we may need to loose, loosen this bar here. Now, I don't think this bolt here is the original bolt. I think that snapped a while ago. So, although this is a 17 mil, it, it really isn't a 17 mil, it's a smaller one. And then we have, uh, for this, I use a third, uh, 14 mil, I think. So I got my, hang on, that is, no, that's a 15 mil there. And I think that is the original one. And it is a little bit corroded, so make sure you tap it in there. Now, I've already loosened it, however, it was quite um, stuck in there. Not terribly, it did come out, but you could soak it in uh, with a lot of WD-40 so you can move it. And also, I loosened this one out a little bit so that can be a bit loose. And also this uh, cable, I noticed this cable is snapped. It looks like an earth cable. May not be that important, but... Uh, but may have to repair it at some point. Okay, so we remove that and... Uh, I'm going to loosen this a little bit more as well. Probably just take it out. So I got a 17 mil there, and uh, with a with a, a nut on the back. So maybe take it out, and then this bar will come out. So I'll go ahead and do that now, because then we can remove. Uh, although we could possibly remove this, but it is struggling a little bit here. So we we have to remove this anyway. Okay, so I loosened the bolt up there, which loosened this 
bar here gives me room to remove that however just notice that is also got a little clip on the side which um, this part is clipped on onto this <laughs> so you need to loosen that as well to take this out and now we have access to this here I don't know what size is that is that a 17 no looks like that might be 18 or 19 and we also need to take a washer out and we're gonna have to undo this one here as well so let me check those sizes Okay, so that is an 18 mil there, and the other one there is also an 18 mil. You just need a you need a deep socket for that. And hopefully, I'm not sure they're tight or not. So not really that tight. That will just come out. Oh, before I take it out, let's loosen this one as well. And you may have some uh, part numbers written in here. 0527490788. It says, uh, what does that say? White. It says white, orange, green, blue. I don't know what that means. <laughs> List. Okay, that's out. It's got a little guide pin there. Okay, so we can pull this out in my probably pull it out and it will probably fall because I'm not holding it with my other hand. Okay. There we are. So we also may need to, I can see this bit here, it's not on the other one. So we just have to move that part onto this one, it's like a Torx. is a T30 so I'll just uh, go ahead and undo those two and put this little um, placard on this side okay so I loosened them and uh, hopefully that bit fits onto this bit is it some kind of balancing device? I'm not sure, but that's the idea. Just fit them onto that side. So I may actually, I may actually need to use the ratchet for this. But because uh, it's going into a new out there but uh, but I don't know maybe not it's <laughs> going very straight forward ok 
Okay, the last one in. So we're able to fit that in there now. But again, I may actually need my two hands for this. So I'll just put the ball through there. Okay, so just get that in there. And uh, we also have this one here. this one and that's it well now we're pretty much done here just put that back in there maybe put a bit of grease on this bolt so it doesn't keep forming corrosion so I think from here on, we just get the idea, just fit that back in there, fit this back and uh, put your cover back in here and you're pretty much done. You have a nice brand new dog bone mount or <laughs> engine mount, lower engine mount. Um, so having done that and having said all of that, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.